We will see indeed here. But for now, Losers Quarters and Armonia versus Min Min. If you guys are watching the VODs or just watching in, uh, PK Chris had the unfortunate DQ against an Armonia. Issues with this router. Oh, wow. Right across the stage, man. Not giving him time. I think Min Main knows you got to be the aggressor in this match right before you can give Enarmonia anything to do because there's 58% of this man's name and zero of yours. Yeah, it's, we saw that from PK Chris as well. Just trying to just rush down Robin as fast as possible. Don't give Enarmonia any time to start setting up these projectile traps. Yeah, the, the more time you give in Armonia, the better it is on his side. Oh, nice. All right, Thunder to catch the landing immediately after the arms. Never forget, the startup may be pretty decent for Min Min, but it's the end lag that can be hard for her. I wonder if we're going to see uh, Min Min go for that up smash reflector. It's a possibility. It's a possibility because we see that the way the Enarmonia caused PK Chris to go for that. And then even then, there's a lot of end lag if you don't time that perfectly. And you have to be within a distance just to be relatively safe. So we'll see. Back air, oh, nice. nice. It's really good damage. But good for the mix up, too, because if I were a min main, I would have been DIing for the up air. Yeah, or just like DIing out to get out of the arc fire, too. Good stuff on uh, Rene VBZ. He points out that there has been more Robin mains lately. Definitely, we've been seeing a few more Robin mains, especially alongside Grandmaster. Yeah, Robin's a good character, man. <laughs> I mean, nothing else to say. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit different from most, so he's not super popular, but very, very good. Ooh. And you really I have to up, ask yourself, man. how many Robin mains do you actually know, too? Because... It's a character that does require a lot of skill and knowledge and setup. Not a pick up and play character for sure. Arc Thunder to force the low recovery, but not enough from an Armonia. Nice. Sneaks in the Elf Thunder. You know what he's looking for. He's looking for a min main to hold the shield. Ooh, the backwards Nosferatu, too, just for the extra kill percent. Oh, the damage. He's got to be oh careful now. God. Shield is so low, man. Good stuff on Enarmonia, too. Look at the situation. Does not want to be a little bit too aggressive? Takes time to charge that Thoron, but also heal the shield just a little bit. trying to find this stock oh, oh the roll the roll yeah he just didn't want to get shield broken so he rolled out a shield but oh my goodness the call out dude i'm not even sure if call out rather option coverage the down smash might have broke his shield if he held on while getting a uh, arc fire on shield and catch the roll too is covering so many things so many things covered indeed so many things, man. Look at Enarmonia, dude. You'd think it'd be min main with all that coverage, but it's an Enarmonia making all the coverage here. Game one of his yes, name. Yes, that's, that's, that's what I said, Mr. SGG. <laughs> but yes, option coverage. That's what makes Arcfire so good. Yeah. Forces rolls, causes you to hold shield, confirms, punishes. You name it. If you guys thought Richter... Richter, Holy Water, to forward smash was crazy. Robin was the originator of that, so. Yeah. I think, I don't know, I think a lot of people just forgot, like, how many crazy tools Robin has to force you in really bad spots. It's a character that you don't see a lot of the meta, too. Yeah, I hope we continue to see more really good Robin players uh, offline as well. I know I there is uh, Jewel. But outside of him, I don't see that many doing really yeah. well. We, we, yeah, well, we mentioned Grandmaster up in Vegas. We do tend to see a lot of Vegas people come to SoCal tournaments. So when Offline does come back, you know, we won't be, we'll be definitely seeing Grandmaster for Sagas for sure. But yeah, Jewel, big name when it comes to Robin Mains for sure. But Min Min, 
definitely looking to put in some damage here. 81% of the 48. Oof. And climbing. Almost gets the snipe off stage. Oh, that's right. Blue Tailed Sink uh, says Angel is really oh. good too. I almost forgot about Angel. Yeah, yeah. Very good online Robin player too. There's a, a lot of really good Robin players on. Yeah, this is a really good min min stage. Kind of wondering what uh, Inharmonia ban. Yeah, you can stay at such a far range to react to the projectiles of Robin really well. Oh, no sweet spot on that. Uh, missed grab here. Then on Armonia, oh. not to go for a roll, just kind of stays a little bit in the position. He, Armonia knows. I'm a little bit on the the back foot here. Yeah, this is a great leader here for mid lane. Oh my goodness, catching the jump as well. Almost gets the snipe off stage, but still holding on to all the stage control. Even has the megawatt on deck as well, just in case. Oh, there's the up smash, but great jump, Mineronia. Oh no. Oh. Okay, it's okay, still good. Okay, okay. Still, in a, it's still in a tough spot though. Look at all that space. Still able to come in with the neutral air. Nice. Once again. Really good edge guard. Exactly what he needed to have any similar to bring this back. Oh. So close. Oh, oh my god. These snipes are actually coming in clutch right now. Clutch indeed, and I talked about how going for that reflector is really good only at the range. Oh. I go off from ledge, keeps catching in Harmonia, slipping a little bit. Good oh, on Harmonia to kind Hardy. of wait for that too, that yeah. Work out. Oh, wow, going through all the projectiles. Yeah, that's really good for Min Min. But these guys are playing from so far away from each other. Oh, oh close with the L1, not enough here. There's the back throw, not the stock here. Good on Enarmoni to kind of use that jump just to try to bait out the dragon just because he knows the laser beam is what's going to really kill oh. me. But there is the Mega Wa arm. Oof. All right, snagging the jump once again. I think he tried to actually start his up smash. He's a little bit too slow. To reflect that uh, neutral V. Oh, Ooh, that's shield damage. So that's... risky. It's so risky to neutral get up when he's doing the Mega Wall like that. Either breaks shield or like gets a shield poke, or it just hits your neutral get up in general. Yeah. Okay, good stuff on Inharmonia. Still keeping that arc fire because he knows that Min Main might be forced to hold shield, interact oh. with it. Giving us some time to come on the stage. Arc Thunder to kind of force nice. the jump, but there's no jump just yet. Of the stage. Yep. And Armonia can win this if he keeps his game plan up. He's got to be careful though, that shield. He saw how much Mega oh. Y did. One more Arc Fire. Forces the roll. Nice play. Oh, nice catch, yeah. Oh, he jumped. Oh, he man. He jumped at the last second. That's unfortunate. That covers so much range, though. Like, in a spot where a lot of people just aren't even sure that they're going to get hit by anything like that. I'm actually thinking about this, too. Did he jump, or was the fact that Megawatt was just so much range, and he could have just angled the shield to possibly survive the shield poke? I don't even yeah, know, I don't, man. I don't think he angled his shield anyway. Yeah, so. he didn't even angle... Yeah, so he either jumped or he just didn't angle the shield. Yeah, that was very, very close, though. Inharmonia brought that back super hard.
I do think Min is Min Min is kind of hype. I don't know if she's that hype, but I don't think oh. it's Cap if she's hype. All right, well this is I'm, actually a really I'm good stage for Min Min. I'm surprised to see Inharmonia run it back here. I know he almost brought it back, but I think the part of what made that such an uphill battle was how much space that uh, Min Min had to keep him out. I agree. But, uh, I don't this know. is Let's this see. is a good Min Min stage for sure. He does get more room to charge, so I think that's what he wants. Great catch on the roll-in. Very smart about using this arc fire to just bait out these offensive options at the ledge. Almost gets the book snipe as well. Nice, down tilt to up smash, true at those percents. You can even down tilt to up air or down tilt to up tilt. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Going super aggressive off stage with Min Min. And he's going to SD? Yeah, he unfortunately. Uh, arm. Yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did. That's how you can cover those angles with those aerials. Oh, what a tech chase. Not gonna die, but very, very smart. Nope, no snipe off stage. He's continuously going for that, but Inharmonious hasn't given it to him just yet. Nope, not at all. Once again, this time not fast falling in here. This gives Inharmonious time to make for that recovery here. Close range far on yet again here. Nice. Good trade there for Inharmonious, giving him more stage to work with. That was good. He tossed the book up just to see if Min Min would have gone for down tilt or roll in. Or even yep. a jump would have covered a lot of those options there, depending on how he played out here. But there is a megawatt yet again. A lot of knockback here. Uh -oh. You can confirm that to an area. Oh, nice. Good jump. Good jump. Don't hit by the gimmick. <laughs> Don't hit by that careful. gimmick. Oh, nice. Nice. Bark fire up smash. Always, always a good confirm for Robin. Nice neutral air. Really good knockback. Put, look at where it puts Min Main too, a little bit more off the stage. And now he's got to fight for it here. And Inharmonia with everything in the entire arsenal just keeping him actually center stage. threw every single move at him. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. He knows. I'm not letting this man hold center stage here. There's the back throw. Close. So Thorin on play as well, if he does go for that. I, think, I don't think it's. I, I, oh. I kind of agree with Mustache Lane. It's like, Min, it's not that Min Min is looking antsy. It's just look at the positioning where Min Min's being consistently put at. Ooh. Arc fire to the up smash on the read on that one, and Anharmonia takes game three here. It's the way that Min Min is being put in those positions in which if he jumps, if he tries to fight back for center stage, he has a lot to fight against, and that's specifically because Anharmonia holds center stage, and he can have enough time to actually react to Min Min getting up or going for down tilt or things like that. It's really, really rough. And like me and Strides pointed out, man, he's throwing everything at him with different timings and at close range to not even worry about it getting reflected or being able to run, be run away from. So, yeah. and, and Harmonia is just playing this really, really well. Yeah, very good adaptation from the previous game, even though he lost on FD before. But this, let's put N Harmonia at 2-1 here. So this is a set point for N Harmonia here. Can Min Main get the game here i'm like you said guys i'm surprised they ran it back to fd because that was definitely a min min stage uh but enharmonia says you know what it's okay if my opponent has advantage i can make it back all right well, game four enharmonia on set point here min main with one more chance to kind of bring it back doing a lot of good going for those fast fall um aerials because it covers a lot of range and it forces Ender Money to go for those jumps a little bit early so we'll see we'll see a lot of good stuff on min main's air range specifically how you see that aerial with the forwarder he angled the dragon enough to kind of sneak in that laser hit yeah oh that's big that's big that's huge percent he's not letting him land right now and this man kissed the blast zone too he moved it to 89 percent because he touched a little Ooh. bit too Tough spot. Okay. I was gonna deal with this pressure at the ledge. Or he just face facing. Yeah, uh, in Harmonia, he just desperately wanted that roll from ledge. 
Yeah, and good on Minmay not to give it to him, too. Just hold on a little bit. You can see he has commitment there. Nice. Once again, he demonstrates a really good aerial there. It covers a lot of the stage. Can even kill super early. And Ramoni was dead if he was too close. Good start to keep that range, too. We saw Minmay kind of play the aggressor. I kind of want to see him come back to don't give Enharmonia too much time to go for those aerials, those projectiles. Oh. Nice. Good call out. Good call out. Not enough to kill the stock yet, but... Very close. close the stage here, yeah. Oh, man. He tried to cover a lot of options from the ledge. Maybe a roll or a jump. But yeah. runs right into the Mega Watt. And he didn't need to jump at that situation, too. Mimane was doing fine just holding the stage. Oh my god, that down into rapid jab. 30% here, quick enough for Anarmonia. These guys are just swinging back and forth <laughs> at each other. Swinging indeed here, 95 to 46 oh. here, and Harmonia holds the stage, he's gonna force the roll here, unable oh. to, good patience from Inmate. This time he's not falling for it, especially in game 4. Yeah, he didn't do the 11 sword down smash, so I'm mm -hmm. curious as to, uh, if he had the 11 sword or not in that situation. Same. Oh! oh. Okay. Yeah, he didn't even need to, the Thor on there. No, not at all. Good shield damage here. This is forcing Enharmonia to go for that roll, but unfortunately he gets caught by a lot of the aerials. Min Min looking oh, for an opportunity. Nice. Good on that dash attack because dash attack for Min Min, depending on the range that you do it, it actually crosses up on shield. A little bit good enough for Min Min to kind of go for a cheeky area after that cross up. Okay. Nice. Main, well, again, covering the role with the Megawatt. Mm -hmm. And Harmonia has demonstrated that role two times already, so... Good enough for him to read it. Back oh. though, this is an arm. Close, oh, close. Great evasion, man, from me Harmonia. So many people have been getting destroyed by that option. Wait, if you're patient enough, you can't avoid it. Man, he, I know, dude. And, and Harmonia says, you know what, man? I am not Elite Smash Robin. Give me some credit, please. Don't back throw me like that. On fire, nice. Look at how Min Min has to interact with it. <gasps> he jumped, oh. he jumped, and he got hit oh. by the arm. Great pressure. The deepest edge guard, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he ever got his jump back. He did not. He did a terrible, it. terrible spot. All from a jump, and our Min Min finally, with a little bit of a breather, putting in that game five scenario. Very good stuff from both players so far. But this is Inharmonious counter pick. Very, very true. And I agree with the chat, man. This was very, very tense. <laughs> but what a comeback indeed here. This is game five. Min Min demonstrating a little bit of a lot of a pressure, like you said, Strides. You didn't know if he had the Levin Sword, but either way, that was good on Min Min not to go from the ledge at that specific scenario because he knows I've been getting caught by that. I gotta change it up here. Adaptation is key here, and this puts us at game five because of that. Yeah, I don't oh know. I couldn't tell you who's gonna win this set, honestly. They've just both been adapting to each other so hard. Oh, okay. Oh, good snipe. Oh, man. He really likes to uh, go off stage with that arm once he takes the jump. And it's true, and it's really good, too, for him because he can definitely kill er Robin early if he especially gets the laser off the dragon. Oh, great coverage there with both arms. Nice. Covering the low. A little early, but I like the fact that Min Min definitely looks at those coverage. Oh no, tough air dodge. Tough air dodge. I respect it. Like, you don't want to take too much damage, but don't put him in such a tough spot here. I mentioned how down tilt up air is a thing here. Unfortunately, unable to connect to that higher percent. I was 
good on mid main. He went for the first arm, and then to, to force Enermonia to get off the ledge, he was going to read the landing with the second arm, but unfortunately, tough on the timing. Yeah, I really like how uh, Enharmonia has been timing his neutral grab to avoid getting hit by Megawatt at the ledge. Back up the ledge here, min main. It's gonna go for the back for once again. You can actually take the stock, yeah. Yep. It's enough knockback. Oh man, the arms being able to cling with projectiles is just so good for min min. Yeah, especially arc yep. Yeah, he hasn't abused it much for the arc fire, but for everything else. Almost snug it, snagged an early stock with that rammer at the ledge. See, I almost okay. I almost disagree here with Zen Smash saying I think Smash was the worst stage for Min Min. I kind of almost agree to disagree because I do think the smaller the stage, the more you have to worry about interacting with their arms and how much they cover. Yeah, I would say it's a uh, matchup dependent for sure. Yeah, definitely oh. matchup dependent here. But an Harmonia, nice sneaking in that forward air, using that double jump to kind of mix up the timing here. There is Arc Thunder. What a call out from the jump. Oh, oh, almost getting the snipe, but keeping him off stage here. Oh, he can't get, get off the ledge right now. Good read, oh, good, good read, good read. Nice yeah. catch on the roll, man. It was good, too, because the way that he tossed out the book to cover the uh, the ledge the ledge hole, forcing the forcing the get up. That was really clean. Oh, caught the nice. attack okay. on that one. Sorry, not even the attack. Oh, no get jump up. here. No jump. Yeah, no tough, jump angle. Here. tough angle. Tough angle. Tough angle ladies and gentlemen and our morning here with a 3-2 against the min main pulling out game five very very clutch